Boston Dynamics just revealed a new video and I gotta say I'm 80-20 on it. I'll explain my reason for being 80-20 after the video. But yeah, for now, let's take a look at the video. So how did it perform and what really surprised you on this update? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember I said I was 80-20 on the video, I'm sure you're like, what's there to be 80-20 about? Atlas is already killing it. Like I'm not disputing that fact, it's awesome that it could handle this task all on its own. I even love the way it squats to pull out the engine cover from the bottom cabinet. Seems incredibly human-like. But I'm not just a fan of how excessively it contorts its body while proceeding to the next location. So first of all, it looks janky. Okay, here's what I mean. Like here, why would it have to make such a wide turn just to get the engine cover rack? Just shows you how inefficient the ML algorithm powering the locomotion is. But it's not bad in all situations. Like it's not like this in all situations. Like here, Atlas made the turn in such a tight space. So yeah, it's like a mixed bag, even at this shot, it still makes a wide turn. So yeah, I realized that carrying objects while executing those complex body movements could throw off the bot's balance while walking. It is possible that the larger turning radius is intended to help maintain stability when the bot is carrying objects. If that's the case, then it's alright for now, since that could always be addressed in a future update video. Also, if Atlas still maintains this janky kind of locomotion, given how unpredictable like this locomotion actually is, then I'm afraid it couldn't work side by side with a human. So I hope they address this issue um, like sooner rather than later. But overall, this bot seems to be very resilient than other bots, judging from how it recovers from failures. So instead of tripping, it just got shocked and readjusted its balance to try again. That to me is what they call resilience. The dexterity of the three-fingered robotic hand of Atlas clearly does the job well, but why not the entire anthropomorphic hand for future-proofing against more dexterous tasks? Couldn't be that hard for a company like Boston Dynamics. But all in all, I wish um, Boston Dynamics could polish the locomotion a bit, then we would have something incredible on our hands. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, bye.